what it is, what it do. You already know. Once again, Latin Actor 209, back for you. Check it out. We're going to talk about who a woman dismembered while alive, then killed after disrespecting Fiance's name. All right, there's been a lot of this been going on, you know, like I said, I don't know if it's in the water, if it's in the air, if it's the heat, but uh, there's some vicious motherfuckers out there doing some vicious acts out there. So, um, the Bear County Sheriff's Office has arrested a 26-year-old man for the alleged murder of Nicole Perry, a gruesome attack where she was dismembered while still alive. Rafael Castilla is a suspect in the murder of 31-year-old Nicole Perry, whose body was found November 19th on South WW White Road. So this uh, took place uh, two exits over from where I live, you know. Human remains were found wrapped in tarp thrown on the side of the county road. Work crews found the body on the side of the road, later identified as Perry, with their hands cut off. Evidence found there led deputies to a home on West Harlan and Castile. This was a gruesome attack, said Sheriff Javier Salazar on Wednesday night. Sheriff Salazar said she was killed over a disagreement and Castile wanted to make an example of this young lady. Disturbingly, deputies believe Castillo used a hatchet to dismember Perry while she was still alive, inflicting as much pain as possible on her. A witness said another suspect asked them to move a large package. The witness said they, along with four males, placed a square package into an SUV and drove to, a dump, to dump the body. After dumping the body, the witness said they went back to the West Harlan home and was approached with a crock pot, which allegedly had human hands with painted fingers in it. The witness said they soon realized what was happening and left. The homeowner said Perry and her fiance were staying with him as they were homeless at the time of her murder. The owner said he left the room when Perry and her fiance were arguing, so he left and when he came back, she had an ax in her head with Castillo standing over her. Castillo allegedly said he killed Perry because she disrespected her fiance's name. Castillo was a documented gang member, but deputies do not believe the, mem- the murder was gang related. Rafael Cast- Castillo faces a murder charge, but additional charges are not going to be ruled out. The Lone Star Fugitive Task Force and Gulf Coast Fugitive Task Force Hop the Bird County Sheriff's Office with this case. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Come back again. Late.